Hey everyone, welcome. The floods are pretty bad here. A little scary for the first time in my life, actually. Um, see the name of the channel there. So John Walson opened another channel. I mean, we're all out opening channels, called it. But this is for you guys. It's Bruce's All Moon People. He wanted you guys to uh, see this video. I just want you guys to know that I'm, I have a couple channels like this that I have to take these videos down because there's eight minutes and five seconds of my footage on there. But guys, the gut-wrenching part is that he zoomed up on my footage. And this is the photo that you know is not what I've showed you. He zoomed up on an already zoomed up photo and he's really pushing it to, to make it look pixelated. Um, you know, this is John Walson. It's pretty sad that he's doing that. It's attacking the channel. He even changed his wording along the way. It's sign is here with him. It, it's haunting him for the rest of his life. And he says a bunch of lies on it. It's, here he writes artifacts properly. And then down the way you see he makes deliberate uh, mistakes. I'm a real investi investigator, guys. Artar facts, Atar facts. Yeah, okay. But, you know, saying a bunch of things and uh, it's gut-wrenching that people can do that. But here's the thing. He took part of his footage, I guess. He says, he zoomed in. He said, it's mine. It's not. And I just want to show you guys. Um, he said that that's the clouds I'm getting, right? He's saying everything, you know, but, and here's, <laughs> sorry. Here on the right is the surface where Copernicus is. On the left is not my footage and that would be disgustingly embarrassing to post and you guys know it but to let you know that i am having a problem uh with walson for whatever the reason it's only because john lear posted um, a part of his picture compared to mine you see john walson was going behind my back i guess to try to get things uh done without me seeing it kepler crater we're going to go look at kepler crater and some comparisons here first Look at the structures on the right and look at them on the left. This is with the, uh, the green filter and this is without. So you can see on both sides, there's right down to the smallest detail, the exact same appearance and no manipulation whatsoever. You could clearly see that it really helps with the green on the right to see the structures around the crater. But right here, you can see that there it's there anyways, right? Even on the regular footage. So that's all I'm really showing on the surface are those beautiful objects. Let's look at on the right what I used to have, the 3400, the same angle with the D850, the new 46 megapixel camera. So let's apply the green filter, right? We'll call it a filter. So all I have to do with the 3400 is descend the exposure. It'll be the same as the left and sharpen it a little bit. So basically the big word filter that's scaring everyone Put on green sunglasses and look at my videos. Literally. And that's what you'll see. Duh. I mean, holy. Anyways. We're back on the surface. Looking at structuring on the surface. Beautiful objects. This is Kepler Crater. I was supposed to talk about dimensions yesterday and I did not. But we're not done because I have a lot of surface that I want to see. I'll share this beautiful work with you guys. Here's in black and white. And guys, I almost did a video to show how I, do you know that I don't sharpen these photos? Of course not. There's a haze. When you sharpen a haze, it'll pixelate. So I was going to show you guys how I did it with my video editor and stuff. And I'm saying, why would I do that to prove myself, you know, wrong against walls? And it really doesn't matter what people think. Um, see how the slope goes up guys at the back of Kepler crater that I love seeing. And my goal to get down to the surface, is to see at an angle like we were on the surface. So this beautiful unmanipulated photo that we see at a 45 degree angle, um, look at the slope go upwards. Isn't that beautiful? Let's go to Aristarchus Crater. And don't forget guys, I'll be reproducing these every single moon phase and we'll be comparing each line to show you guys that that's really on the surface. Check it out, oh yeah all around Aristarchus Crater, this massive line 
like a yard or a, a dimension that's blocking out anything or everything that's outside of this uh, crater, Aristarchus Crater. And on top of that, I get a lot of UFO activity down there. We're seeing flashing lights. We're seeing an immense haze, dust, or cloud over the surface. It's just absolutely beautiful to be able to see all these events. And I'm capturing them. We'll be capturing so much more, too. I'm fighting with YouTube right now to try to get this video taken down that John put up. Let me explain. This is a, f a photo without any filter of the surface. It's a lot too close. If you all know, this is the side of Bianchini Crater. And John Walson zoomed it up. And what's happening is he's starting to create pixelation over the top of the photo. And he's pushing it so that people will think that it's, you know, it's manipulated. He actually says, uh, devotes this to Bruce's All Moon people. He's trying to reach my community to tell them that I'm faking it. But he's not even capable of showing my own work. Like this is very discriminatory to me. Uh, that he did this. So with that said, I'm going to show you how I make this photo what it is. So this is, I know my community, you guys are going to be happy. I'm bringing you guys into my editor to show you at least once for your pleasure how I can bring the left photo to the right photo. The before is on the left, the after is on the right. And we're going to go see in my editor exactly how that's done. And for the first time, thanks, John, but I'm going to show you guys exactly that I don't use sharpening. I should have mentioned that. It helps my proof because I don't apply sharpness. I don't apply saturation. I descend the exposure like I've been saying for two years. Let's go and see. You see, if I sharpen a photo, I'm going to lose that natural cloud. So this picture right here, let's just take it. This is my project. It's the next video you're seeing right now. I'm just going to the end. To show you quickly here at the end of the video line, this uh, this is a cheap program, by the way. I said it'd be good to show you guys that I just have a regular program, not even, you know, nothing exceptional. So here's just quickly the surface of the moon. Welcome, guys, into my editor. I know some of you guys were anxious to see how I do this. You guys can do this yourself, too. Very simple. If you have an inversion button, you can invert it. Oh, what does it say there? X-ray. Okay, just wanted to show you guys that. So I think my X-ray button that's in just a green filter, right? And I just applied it. Look at the exposure. Look at the saturation, but hold on. What's that number there? It's a zero. There's a percent beside it. The mid-tones, the sharpens, everything. Everything is to zero. Let's look at the exposure. The exposure, um, yeah. You know how exposure works, eh? Why do I descend the exposure, people say? Why do I manipulate the exposure? My gosh, do you have a camera? <laughs> Have you ever taken a picture in the sun? Here's the sharpen button. I don't apply sharpness to my pictures and I'll show you why. This is beautiful. Thanks again, John, for reminding me to show my people this. My moon people, like John says. There's 100% exposure. All it does is, you know, it gets rid of that haze. So I leave that haze. See, you guys recognize the haze? I prefer leaving that haze so that we could see it's not pixelation and it's actually a layer of structuring that is underneath. And there it is, guys. That's the outcome. So how long did it take me to do that photo? Let's go see the other picture in my video just quickly to show you that, again, zero, well, of course, is zero saturation, right? And um, the exposure is, uh, the saturation is minus 100. Yes. So uh, the exposure here, if I click on the exposure, there's a manipulation of one button here. And that's what I did. Watch. I took this down like that, like anyone would to just make a nice photo. No special software, no manipulation, no tampering, no contrast, a bit of exposure descended. And there's my proof.
This is Houston, say again, please. 